Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Bob and Weave. Today I thought I would do a quick little run through of what all I'm taking to my craft show this Saturday. Um, it's currently Thursday and I still have to get a lot of these bags tagged, but I'm going to do that tomorrow and hopefully film that as a vlog. And also, I'm going to try to film on the day of the craft show. It gets a little crazy during the day, but I'm going to try my best to film some of that for y'all. So I'll go ahead and start off with these bags that I just finished up in the last video. And these are the Pelican Totes by Bag Stock Designs. And I will also have a link to every bag that I talk about in the description box below. So these, I have four of them and they're all lined with waterproof canvas and interface with SF-101 and a layer of foam. And they're all made out of canvas or duck fabric. So I'm selling these for $65 each. And these still have to be tagged as well. So I would really like to have more than just four of one thing, but this is all I could manage to get done. So we will move on to the next bags now. So the next thing that I have that I'll be talking about are the Begonia backpacks by Blue Kala. And I have 10 of these. And I think they're super cute. Um, they're made with either waterproof, I mean, either canvas or quilting cotton. And interface with SF-101 lined with waterproof canvas and then a vinyl on the bottom. And I used um, bias tape for the straps. And I sell these for $55. And these are one of my favorite things that I sell. The next bags that I will be taking are the Peekaboo Beauty Bags by Mormi No. And I had four of these already done. And then I finished eight, so I have a total of 12 to take now, and all of the eight need to be tagged. Um, these are already tagged with my handmade tag. I didn't make it. I just meant it has handmade on the back. Um, and these sell for $35. They're made out of, most of them are made out of canvas, and then a layer of SF-101 and Decoville light and then vinyl on the sides and interfaced with waterproof canvas so I have 12 of those to take and these were a pretty good seller for me for the last craft show I went to um, and I am curious if y'all sell at craft shows what are your most popular bags I would say that these are definitely one of the more popular ones that I sell Another popular item for me are wristlets, and I just went through all my stuff, and I can only find four of the Devon pouches and three of the wristlet clutches. Um, this is a pattern by So Talk Handmade on Etsy, I believe, and I sell these for $28. Um, they are mostly vinyl with canvas interfaced with Decaville light and then lined with waterproof canvas. And these are the wristlet clutches by Sonar Handmade. And I sell these for $22. They're all vinyl on the outside and then just lined with waterproof canvas on the inside. So I definitely need to get some more of these made up before the next show. And next up are the Christine ID wallets by Uniquely Michelle. And these have a lanyard attached to them and I sell them for $20 each. And I used to have a lot more and I did not realize that I only have four of these too. So I need to take better inventory next time. That's a note to myself there. Uh, but these have card slots on the front and then a clear window on the back and then a zippered pocket area. And then I just have a sign for these. I don't tag these individually since they're so tiny. So these are a new item for me. I only had them for my last craft show. And these are the Zip and Goes by EN Designs. And they have a place for your 
cell phone and one side has card slots right there card slots and then a big pocket for cash and then the other side is just a pocket and I sell these for 40 I only sold one of these for the last craft show I was at so I'm anxious to see how they will sell at the upcoming craft show but I've got a couple of floral ones and then some geometric and some Disney so we will see how those sell and now I just have some one-of-a-kind items that I've just made here and there uh, this is a beachcomber handbag by needle and anchor supply and I sell this for $70 and it's mostly vinyl with quilting cotton and then it has a zipper gusset and then it's lined with waterproof canvas. And then I have this cute little convertible backpack. I need to get the blow dryer after it so it'll unwrinkle. But this is the Vizzy convertible backpack by Oliver Hart Designs and I sell this one for $55 and it is all vinyl and then lined with waterproof canvas. So these I've had in my booth for quite a while. Um, these are just zippered uh, pencil pouches or whatever you need them for and they're just quilting cotton interfaced with some feasible fleece and then lined with another layer of quilting cotton and I sell these for nine dollars each and then I have some bigger ones that you can use for a tablet <clears throat> or a book um, really anything I've had people ask me and what do I use these bags for? Well, I don't know, whatever you want to use it for. But I sell these for $12 each. And they are just the same as the pencil pouches, quilting cotton, fusible fleece. And I have four of the large ones and then uh, 10 of the smaller ones. And working off of the zipper pouches, these are more, but these are a box bottom pouch. And I have a small, medium, and large. And I charge 12, 15, and 18 for these. And they're just quilting cotton and fusible fleece. And that's all. And these are the first bags that I ever started making and selling. So. I just like to keep these in my booth for a lower priced item that people can buy instead of if they don't want to pay for an expensive item. So that just so they have options. And now we'll move on to the coin purses, which are another bestseller item. And these are just the same as the other bags I just showed. Golden cotton fusible fleece. That's it. Zippered. These are just a flat bottom. I sell these for $6.50, but I think I may go up a little on that cost. But I have a ton of these, and I also had some more cut out to sew that I just didn't get to this time. So those will be for next craft show. I think the last bag items I have are these crossbody bags. And these I modified from the triple zip hipster from Sodakan. I just took the pattern piece and cut it in half just to make one zipper so that it has a pocket in the front and then just one open. Oh, I do have slip pockets. I forgot. Slip pocket inside and cotton webbing and I really want to get rid of these bags since I've had them in my booth for forever. So these were $35 and now they are on sale for $20. So here's hoping I can get rid of them this Saturday. So before I move on to the other items that I sell that are not bag related, I just wanted to say that pricing is definitely um, something that is subjective to every different person. Um, I may get materials at a different cost than you. 
and I definitely think it depends on your area where you live and how much you can sell something for. So I don't want anyone to base their cost of their items off of what I sell. I am just simply sharing what my costs are on my bags. So with that being said, I will move on to the other items that are not bag related that I sell in my booth. And these are the first item that I'll talk about. Uh, these are velvet scrunchies that I crocheted and they are just crocheted around an elastic, a hair elastic. And I sell these for $5 each. And I had about two of these baskets full and I have sold all of them, but these little handfuls. So these are definitely one of the best sellers. And I used to have black, but I sold out of them. And then only one lonely pink. So the next item I have up for sale are flannel infinity scarves. And I don't usually bring scarves and hats and ear warmers to spring shows. But this one is going to be outside and it has started to turn cool again. So I will just bring these in case it is cold and if it is, I will set them out on the table. So next up are triangle scarves and these are some that I crocheted and it's just really a giant triangle with tassels and you just kind of loop it around with the triangle in the front and then the tassels in the front like that. And these sell for $35 and I have a ton of different colors in these. Here are all the different colors. And next up are crocheted hats. I have some that don't have a pom-pom and I sell these for 15. And then these that do have a faux fur pom-pom, I sell them for 20. And last but not least, I have ear warmers, and these are hand-knit cabled ear warmers in chunky yarn, and I sell these for $10 each. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video of all the things that I'm taking to my craft show. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be showing around my booth on Saturday and how I set up and display things. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.